Yo, welcome back to Containing Luxury. On this episode, we're gonna be checking out some container barn builds. Are they worth it? Let's get started. Okay, so we got Bentley hanging out with us. Some people have been commenting, they're like, oh no, his arm is broken. His arm is not broken. He, for the record, was born with a deformity and he was the last dog when I went to go rescue him and uh, so nobody wanted him. And I was like, that's the first dog I would have taken. So he won the, the puppy home extravaganza lottery and ended up with a bunch of brothers and sisters with a big yard. So Bentley is not broken. He was born this way and it doesn't phase him. He runs like crazy. Speaking of which, he's like, put me down. Okay. So let's figure out, are barn, contain, container barn builds worth it? I don't know. It seems like honestly, out of all the modifications of big structures I've seen when it comes to two containers with a roof over it, that's probably the most economical way to use it. And truth be told, we're actually gonna be doing that on the property out in Texas because we need an area for us to be able to park some containers while they're being constructed that has a big overhang. And that two containers with a roof over the top is gonna to be the ideal situation for us because it's gonna give us two big 40 foot containers that we're gonna have all of our tools and equipment in, kind of as our shops. And then we're gonna have the big open area in the middle to be able to put the containers in as well, which will have a jacked up roof on it for the clearance to be able to bring in containers when they're still on axles or on wheels. So I would say that most of the time when you see bigger, larger structures and people have like a bunch of containers together, it's very hard on determining whether or not it's economically a good idea. A lot of time it costs more than just building a conventional structure. We've talked about that in some of our past videos. But when it comes to that barn type design where it's just two, those two structures with that big roof, it's actually a great way to use them. And I think it is a, a, a maybe a relatively inexpensive way to repurpose some containers, throw up a metal roof and you've got a large covered square footage area. You could even enclose it kind of like a bigger idea of what they did on Life Uncontained where they had the two, uh, the two containers with the framed out wood section in the middle. But I think they should have gone wider with that and they could have given them some more interior square footage. Uh, but they obviously had the design that they wanted. But if we're building it on a larger scale, it's virtually the same concept and we're gonna be using steel framing instead. So I would say, is it a good idea to build a container garage? Yes, if designed properly. Because we've seen in the comments where people are like, hey, would you build a, a garage out of containers? And most of the time the answer is no. This is about the one, the one opportunity that I would say, yeah, that probably works pretty well. So we wanted to try and get back to that. We've seen it's a pretty popular question and they've asked a lot of people like, why don't you? Um, and this is, this is why. So we hope this video has been good. As always, make sure to like and subscribe and make sure you hit the notification if you're one of our um, subscribers, but make sure to hit that notification button so you do see when we have some new videos coming up because we've got some super cool new builds coming that you guys are gonna be like, what? So that's the stuff we've been doing behind the scenes and we've been keeping it secret. So stay tuned. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Containing luxury and beat, wait, I just pointed at a pipe. That's not my dog. And Bentley, <laughs> say bye. All right, we're out. Peace.